Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about rules of simplifying fractions. Now, there's really one fundamental rule that you want to keep in mind. I mean, there are others, of course. But when it comes to simplifying fractions, the one thing you've got to remember is whatever you do to one side, you've got to do to the other side. In other words, what you do to the numerator, you've got to do to the denominator as well, and vice versa. So let's run over some um, examples, and you'll see where we're coming from. Now, one fraction, for example, that we can look at is 12 fifteenths. Now, as you might imagine, it's pretty easy to reduce this fraction. But what you've got to think about, OK, what is the largest number that will go into 12 and 15? And after some thought, you might come to the conclusion of it might be 3. So what you want to do is you want to divide the numerator by 3. But again, you've got to do it to both the top and the bottom. So divide the denominator by 3 as well. And so 12 fifteenths is going to equal to 4 over 5. Now, here's another illustration for you. Suppose you have, let's just say, 24 over 36. Now, one easy way to do this would be, OK, again, think of a number that will go into both 24 and 36. They're kind of medium-sized numbers. But um, if you divide both sides by 2, for example, you'll have 12 over 18. As you can tell, this is probably divisible even further. But the fact of the matter is, even if you continue to divide by 2, it might give you smaller numbers to work with so that you can reduce them a little bit easier. But if you want to think a little bit bigger, you might want to think about, OK, what number is going to go into 12 and 18? And one number that might come to mind is the number 6. So divide both the top and the bottom. And that's the really important part. You've got to take care of both sides. 12 divided by 6 is going to be 2. And 18 divided by 6 is going to be 3. This is an example of multiple reductions. Sometimes you can reduce by really large numbers. But if for whatever reason, if that doesn't come to mind right away, you can always take the reduction into little steps, like with this particular problem. Whereas some fractions, you can reduce a little bit easier. But it all depends on what kind of numbers that you have at the very, very end. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there are some rules on simplifying fractions.